grand reopening of after of the, the floods. Rat, right. Yeah. So yeah, that was a, all of it was was a cool. That was just a cool time in my life anyway. Uh, and then you know it's funny yesterday or the day before yesterday Trace was texting me and he said I think I'm gonna come out there tonight. And I and I was busy and I meant to text him back and I didn't. So when I got to the Opry, I saw him pull up out there and he was like, "You didn't text me back, boy." <laughs> Speaking, of, speaking of uh, what the heck is this? Speaking of the devil here, yeah, right. Know. Look who it is! It's Trace Adkins. Woo! Hey. Good morning. What are you doing, buddy? You just get up. Yes. Look how hungover I am. Can you tell by looking at me? Look at him. He just got up. I may have peed my pants this morning. It's one of those kind of mornings. Will you check for me? Will you check for me? I said. Just and, you know what? I'm gonna go over to my studio, <laughs> and do my show. You know, I just want. To you know, he works for us. Now. I well, he didn't tell me that, but I was able to put it together over the last few minutes here. Why didn't you tell I me? I did. I did tell you that. When you did just, you tell me? You that? listened about as hard as you listened to anything else. You didn't when did it. you tell me that? I don't remember. I don't think you did ago. tell me that. Yeah, I did. That's not true. It's just not true. He does Whatever. a countdown show in Watson Country each and every week. You don't remember what I told you yesterday. I do too. You said, "Why didn't you text me back yesterday?" <laughs> That's right. I did say that. Yeah. How was the opera the other night celebrating his big fifth anniversary out there? Uh, opera I sounded good. <laughs> you were spectacular. I was. You know, poor old play. We had that moment while we were performing. We didn't even talk about it. We had that moment where he looked at me and his eyes kind of got big. I realized he wasn't. That's quite right. Sure what the you know what? Was. And then you started, and then he started lip. He started, what do you call it? Mouthing. Uh, yeah, he started mouthing the words to me because he knew, I knew you saw I that. Saw look I looked eye. at you and I got through that first half of the second verse uh -huh. and then I realized I didn't know the lyrics <laughs> to the back half of it and then you looked at me and went. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just started, then I got it and I went, oh yeah. <laughs> you were ready to we sing, know, weren't we you? We know each other well enough to know the looks of holy crap. Uh, on our face. That was so, the look, yeah. man. I was like, oh my God, I don't know. He's got two lyrics. lines in that song. <laughs> he has he's two forgotten. lines, and the man can't manage. To well, I haven't sang that song that since the last time I sang with you. What was that? Five years ago. But it was the biggest moment in your career. You would think that you would hang on <laughs> to that. Yeah, and you know what was really cool at the ACM? So Nobody even clapped for you last night until I walked out there. And then you hear them. See, why, why do I do this to myself? I don't know. Did you hear the opera crowd, man? I mean, just saying. Just well, saying. yeah, they probably they thought you were dead. Ah. Like, man, oh, oh, man, he's, he's still not, alive. He's still alive. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. cool. It is the Grand Ole Opry, by the way. Uh, mm -hmm. Two members of the Grand Ole Opry sitting across from me right now. This is a thrill. Two that may not be. <laughs> Pete almost fired him last night. <laughs> that is true. He did. There's that moment of like, hey, it's been a fun five years. You know, Where you been? Luck. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> well, when he brought up that whole no drinking at the Opry thing, and uh, Blake was just like, bleh, 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 because, you know. <laughs> well, Pete gave you a fifth no of, to of that. liquor. I know, and that's why I, the, for a minute there I thought, oh, you, you was going to say, you drinking's that big of a deal to you here. Well, take this and get out. This is your party But he gift. didn't. He didn't find me. Uh -huh. You just, you wish. Well. He probably would have if I wouldn't have been there. If I hadn't had you back, mm -hmm. I talked him out of it. He was going out there to fire you. As the 90th anniversary of the Grand Ole Opry proceeds this year, and we're sitting across from two Grand Ole Opry members, briefly take me back, Trace and Blake, to the moment you were inducted and to the honor and the pride of that moment. Uh, I remember when I was invited to be a member, little Jimmy came out. On a ladder. On, he brought a step ladder and climbed up there. And <laughs> <laughs> And that was, uh, yeah, uh, the highlight of, the number two highlight of my career. And then number one, I guess, was the night when Ronnie Millsap inducted me and made me a member. And, you know, it's just one of those moments that you just, uh, you know, it's, it's the, when people ask me, you know, what, what my biggest achievement in the music business has been, I say top spots to be a member of the Grand Ole Library, and, you know, and everything else is somewhere down there. Well, both of you guys are such proud flag wavers of traditional country music and the history and the roots of country music. I can only imagine that would be your top honor, Blake, the moment you were inducted. You know, when I weigh the two, I think the bigger the bigger moment for me was being invited. Being asked. And, and both, both of them were from Trace. Uh, I invited you too? You invited me to be a member, right? 
I don't remember that one. I think you did. I remember Then you came you out did. there with the phone. You came out there with the phone. Oh, that that's says right. A, yeah. They had a big uh, tweet Gosh, up on the thing. I was losing my mind there for a second. I, you, you can't even remember the they had one a tweet line up to on a song. Why did I think you would remember in, inviting me to be a member of the Randall Law? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so Trace came out there, and it was. But that night was a cool night because that's when they had the grand reopening of, of the Opry building after the flood. After the flood, so that, that was right? a big night anyway. Yeah, and then uh, you came out and we may be wrong about that. No, I know it was. You know it was. I know it was. Right. And then you guys got the ACM award, award for uh, music collaboration, mm -hmm. and we're surprised by that. You two have been together on stage being surprised a lot of times. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've been dragging the guy along. For I wasn't surprised we won now. that. Well, it was a. I was because the guy years? has burned many bridges in the music industry, and it's like, boy, this is. Yeah, you have. I, I am dragging uh, an anvil through here. Right? God. God. Trace, I love you, but you're an employee now. I'm going to kick you out to your okay. studio. All right, I got to go work anyway. I love you. Yeah, okay. Catch us down town each and every weekend on Y2 Country. I love you. Shut up. <laughs> More with Blake Shelton in just a few minutes. This is the highway. <laughs>